Hi, welcome to a uh, another uh, photo link video. In this one, we're going to mainly talk about local contrast in an image. This image was uh, submitted to me uh, from a friend in Ireland named Mark. It's a great image of um, uh, of his daughter standing beside the uh, seashore. Um, several things in this image I think that might improve it. Number one, um, it's of an unequal or it's an unproportional crop size. Uh, usually you want to crop to a 5 by 7 or an 8 by 10 both for reproduction purposes and also it follows the rule of the golden mean which is the uh, um, you know the correct size of a rectangle. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm first of all I'm going to crop this. If you notice I'm going to use the a rectangular select tool and I'm going to crop to a fixed aspect ratio of 8 colon 10. Now, these selections right here, uh, this is um, to select it as long way up. This is uh, uh, long way sideways. We're going to go this way. And I don't care if I lose some of this feet detail right here. I usually like to uh, crop above the knee because I think some of this space down here is wasted. But um, that's only my opinion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop this. Selection. Come up here and image. Crop to selection. Now, one thing about this image which I feel is slightly deficient and makes it look a little flat is the issue of local contrast. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is I want to maintain this sky and if I turn the contrast up too much or if I start playing with it what I'll do is destroy this uh, sky detail. So I'm going to come down here to my fuzzy select tool making sure it's in the initial mode. I'll select this sky down here. I'm going to go into additive select this and this and this. Make sure we get all the detail here. Okay. Select underneath the arm. Select some of this hair detail, which we have now. Okay. That looks pretty good. And by the way, we have our feather edges with a small. Um, radius defined which is what we want. Now we've selected the sky. What we want to do is select everything but the sky. So we're going to go into select and we're going to go into invert which now we've selected the subject in the background other than the sky. I like the sky as it is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in to my curves and if you'll notice here, we have some white space um, not being utilized. So I'm going to slide this down so I can utilize that white space. And it brightens the image slightly. Now what I'd like to do is give a little kick. So I want this line to be a little bit more vertical, which is going to increase global contrast, which that we have just done. And I want the subject to be a little lighter. So now we've increased, increased our global contrast slightly. Now I'm going to go into my FX Foundry and there under FX Find Foundry under Photo you're going to see under Enhancement you're going to see a filter called Local Contrast Enhancement. Now I've got this set at about an 18. That's, that's about right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this filter for my local contrast. And if you'll notice, this is happening. And this will just increase contrast in the midtones and take away a little bit of that flatness that is appearing to the image. Presto. Not, not a huge difference, but the thing is, is huge differences really uh, don't matter as much 
So now I'm going to come into Colors. I'm going to go into my Curves tool again. And I'm going to give a slight bright kick to that image with a little bit more of a uh, sharp decline in this line, which increases contrast. I'm going to say OK. Now, uh, one more thing is I like my images critically sharp. So I'm going to go into Colors, I mean to Filters, and into Enhance. There's a, a, a filter on the uh, GIMP plugin repository called Refocus, which I like. I'm going to use that filter here. I'm going to take this to about a 8, 1, 5, and a uh, 0 0.05 on the noise. And I'm going to click OK. Now that has sharpened up that image. So if I do a select and all, if you notice that I feel is a better rendition of this image. Um, the subject stands out a little bit more. It's sharper. Uh, the local contrast enhancement has uh, uh, increased the three-dimensionality of the image and, take away, and took away some of the flatness. One more thing I think we can do, and this is so totally, um, I pulled a brush in of flying birds with a gray color. Now what I'd like to do is perhaps scale this up and put the birds over here. So now we have some birds and uh, you know that's maybe pretty cheesy but I kind of like it and uh, we made a nice image. So again hats off, hats off to uh, Mark for number one having a um, very nice well-behaved daughter. Number two capturing that Irish spirit and uh, thank you have a happy new year. Uh, please visit my site, www.photolink. That's F-O-T-O-L-I-N-Q dot com. And uh, also, if you'd like to work on some of your photos, send them to me at joeg, that's J-O-E-G, at F-O-T-O-L-I-N-Q dot com. That's joeg at photolink dot com. Well, have a happy new year, and good luck with your photography. And uh, thank you.